Father, as we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. Lord God, I thank you. I thank you in advance, Lord God, for what you are going to do and what you're going to say and how you're going to move in this house today. In the wonderful name of Jesus. I'm praying, Holy Spirit, that you give us a teachable spirit. That we can receive what you are teaching us. In the name of Jesus. I thank you in advance for, for moving and changing hearts and ministering to our lives. And, and directing and leading our pathway. And we're asking, Holy Spirit, take control. We give you free reign to move and do whatever you desire to do in this house today. And we said amen. 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 chapter number eight in the name of Jesus and people of God as I come to you today and I give God glory I thank the Lord God for giving me health and strength in my body in the name of Jesus yes, I come right. to encourage you yeah. I come to encourage you because the title of today's message is entitled choices wow. choices wow. choices ah yeah. matter of yeah. fact you want to get serious you're going to entitle it so it can go on the oh. web it's going to go out 2019 choices Thank the Lord God. I know you made some choices in 2018 and 17 and 16, but we're talking about 2019 choices. Thank the Lord God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like such a small word, but there's so much power behind it. The Lord God says that we've got to learn how to make the right choices. And I want you to understand that, that we go through and we deal with trying to make choices every day. People know that there are choices to be made everywhere we turn around. Amen? And so with that, before I get to the word, I'll, I looked at the word choice. So that way, you know, I love the divine words. That's just who I am. I love to know what I'm shouting about. If I'm going to shout about a word, I want to know what it, what, I want to know what it means. And a choice, I look at the word choice. It means, it's defined as an option. Lord have mercy. You're like, wait a minute. That, that's, the, that's the one of the words. Defined as an option. O-P-T-I-O-N, an option. Choice is an act of selecting or making a decision. Like, wait a minute, that's a full definition. I want you to keep option right in your forefront. But uh, the full definition is an act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more options. Oh, yes. All right, we're talking about a choice now. An act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more options. Thank you, Lord God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Help me. Help me. Thank you, Lord God. The Lord God says that He's allowing us that we've got to make some choices in 2019. I thank you, Lord God. We've got to step up and make some choices. Yes, Lord God. You know, as I say, we make choices every even in the beginning of the Bible. And with Adam and Eve, they had to make a choice. You know, the Lord God told them, Do not eat from the fruit. Did I not just say that uh, you know I know that passage away? Oh, come on now. I told that's as far as I got. Amen. And the Lord God gave them a choice. He gave them a choice. He told them, do not eat from the fruit of the, from that tree. He said, out of all the other trees, you can have some, but not. But they had to make a choice. Right. Like we have to make a choice. Amen. There are choices that we're facing. Every, some are simple choices. Where to shop. Come on. Where to buy. Uh, thank you, Lord God. Uh, should I get married? Should I not get married? Should I buy the house or should I not buy the house? Should I go on that job or should I not go on that job? Should I do, should I, should I go or should I not go, Lord God? Should I stay or how long do you want me to stay? We make choices. These are choices. Should I or should I not? Don't let me. And you add on the rest. Should I or should I not? But I want you to know that we have got to make some choices in our day. I want you to know as we operate in this Christian world, we have got to make choices. And with that, I want you to turn with me as we're in Mark chapter number 8 and beginning at verse number 34. The word of the Lord God says this, and the reading may seem lengthy, but if you just bear with me, it's the word. Amen? Amen. And Mark 8, 34, the word of the Lord God says, when he had called the people to himself, we're talking about Jesus, and his disciples, and he said to them, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Jesus. Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my word 
in this adulterous and sinful generation. For him and the Son of Man will also be ashamed as when he comes in glory of the Father with the holy angels. I want you to understand that the title of today's man is 2019 Choices. The Lord God says that we've got to learn how to choose. And I'm, I'm go, where I'm going with this is that you've got to take up your cross. Oh Hallelujah. Jesus. You've got to make a choice that I'm going to follow Christ. Thank you, Lord God. There are a lot of things that people are running after this day and age. They're running after fame. They're running after money. They're running after fortune. They're running after popularity. But you must learn to take up your cross Amen. and follow him. Because when you make that choice to follow him, you're going to gain a whole lot more. The Bible said you deny thyself. Hallelujah. Whenever you deny yourself, that you're going to actually gain. Thank you, Lord God. He said, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Amen. I thought that was powerful right there because I would kept writing. I wanted to write this cross. But that the Holy Spirit said, you see the scripture said, I like it in red letter. Mine's a red. It says his cross. Amen. That means that that's his is a small letter H. That means whatever your cross is. That means you can't carry somebody else's cross. Now you're trying to write, when you make choices, you can't run somebody else's life. you got to take up your cross. When God's talking, God may have called that person to go do that thing. And if he told that person to go do it, that is their cross to bear. You see, we got a lot of people trying to carry something we're not supposed to, they're not supposed to carry. Come on now. You know, we're making choices. We're wondering why we're having all this hell. Come God. on now. You're trying to carry something that's not for you. Oh, Thank you Lord. The Lord God didn't tell you that was for you, that's for your neighbor. Hey, Come on. Lord, 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 but then yet you're, you're trying, you're wondering why this cross is, this is, because that cross is not your cross. Everybody has a cross to bear. Amen. Amen. If you're going to follow the Lord, you've got to make a decision that there's something that you're going to have to bear. My Thank God. Lord God. There's something that you're going to, you know, I love verse 35. Amen. That says, for whoever desires to save, his life will lose it. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Whoever, if you want to save your life, you need to lose it. You're like, I don't understand. I love the Bible. I love the way he talks in, in, in parables and riddles, you know. Yeah, and you're thinking, well, how can I save my life if I lose it? When you lose it to the Lord, when you're yeah. so, so, we're talking about being sold out. Yeah. We're talking about being sold out for the Lord. That's how you gain everything. When you're so, you can't get nowhere being patty cake with the Lord. Come on now. Yeah. And you know, I'm going now. I don't want to get ahead of my, my, my word, but you must understand that we must be sold out. We got to make a conscious choice that I desire to serve the Lord, that I will bow the knee to the Lord and to the Lord only, that I will be sold out for him. I'm going to lose myself in him. Amen. Come on now. Yes. Because when you lose yourself in him you really get found because I didn't know myself until I said till I step into Jesus I don't know I got any witnesses in here you thought you knew yourself you thought you had your life in pack. I got this I'm gonna do by the time I'm 20 I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be married and so and so and I'm gonna have this and I'm gonna have the dog the cat and the bird and the fish and I want to do all of that but surely the Lord God sure showed you off didn't he? because whenever you came into knowledge of Christ you lost all of that Amen. Woo! Amen. All right, he said Lord God whatever you desire to do yes, is all right because I've already wasted some time. Talk to me now. I'm already running back on time. Thank you, Lord. I'm already trying to play catch up. You're about to be paying attention and, and got lost in him earlier. I wouldn't be operating on, on running behind. I'm, I'm behind. I don't know about you, the side of my work, but I'm running behind sometimes. I'm trying to catch up. He's like, the Lord's over here. Where you at? 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 And I'm like, Lord God. I see sick, but I did not take. See, I saved you. That's why right about now, when you get saved, we hit the ground. Running, yes, Lord. Oh, you got to be on the move. You can't be so well, yes, Lord. Maybe you got to hit the ground running yes, because the Lord got said you're behind time. Yes. My God, the Lord got said there's some things I call for you. You should have been preaching in Africa. Right? Woo! Come on up in here. You should have been to those hospital minister to those in You should be pulling up them crutches right about hey, now. On, and now you are you sitting up there. Well, Lord, if you call me, you, see, you need to catch up, catch up, catch up. Oh, God. Oh, God, because you see, if we'd have lost ourselves when we're supposed to yes. lose ourselves in Christ, we'd be so much further. But thank God for grace and mercy. I thank the Lord God that He's shown up waiting on me. I see the Lord God saying, "Come on now." Come on, come on. Oh, You're not going to let Charlie just be dragging if he Come oh, on. Thank the Lord God. Come here. Thank the Lord God. You know, I love that about my daddy. The Bible says he's patient with us. Thank hey, God he's patient. Oh, thank you, Thank you, Lord God. Some of us, we can call us kicking and screaming. Get over. Come on. You know, and they really yeah, don't want God to come on, come on. Oh, yeah. You're like, Lord God, I'm, I'm afraid. But come on, come on. The Lord God is trying to tell somebody. You know what? Yes, I, 
I made that point to let you know that you've got to lose your life in order yes, to gain your life. Thank you, Lord God. If you're going to be really sold out for the Lord, we're talking about choices in 2019. Yes, just, just, just tell your neighbor, hold on just a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Lord God. We're going somewhere. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. We're going somewhere today. Just hold on. Yes, Lord. I want you to understand that, that these are simple things that whenever we talk about choices, we think that they're just little basic things. Yes, but I want you to know, and I pose the question to you, who will you serve? Ooh. Wow. Who will you serve? You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a question that the body of Christ will normally ask one another nowadays because you figured I'm in the house. Why do you need to ask that? But no, no, no. I pose the question, whom will you serve? Yes. Just because you're in the house, that don't mean you're saved. Yes. <laughs> don't well, mean you're going yeah. Just because you're in the house. Now, you know, some people think that, you know, okay, let me make it nice and plain for you. Ooh. Just because you, you sit in a garage don't make you a Cadillac. Oh, yes, Lord. Just because you pull up and you go, I'm going to go stand in the garage, that don't make you a car. That's right. So just because you're in the church house, that don't make you safe. Amen. Right, right now. Right there, oh, because a lot of people, well, didn't I come? I'm in the house. I'm sitting there. Ah, ah, no, no, no. That don't make you safe. You got to make a choice about the whom will you serve. Thank you, Lord God. When you pull up, you got to say, I want to be saved. Amen. I desire to be sold out for Jesus. I make a conscious choice that I'm not going to live like I used to live. I'm not going to do the things I'm not, that I used to do. I make a choice this year that I'm going to be sold out for the Lord. Body, soul, and spirit. That's the half-hearted. Whole-hearted. Lord God, I give you my mind. I give you my eyes, my body, my head. I'm sold out, I tell you. I make a 2019 choice this year. The name of Jesus. Right, so I'm not gonna I'm no longer gonna be playing church. I'm gonna be church. Alright, Lord. Alright, Lord. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Right, I'm not gonna play the play. I'm gonna be the church this year. I'm not gonna play church. I'm gonna be the church. I'm gonna be with all that my father called for me. I'm gonna be that dwelling place where he resides. Not for a visitation, but dwell. Yes, it does. It takes more than just having your name on the church roll. That's right. We got a lot of people that got their name written on the church roll. But do you have it written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Come on, oh, Lord. That's two different things. You can be registered on the church roll and they can check you off every time that they see you. But is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? That's what I'm talking about. Because that's the roll call I don't want to miss. Hallelujah. That's the roll call. Because when I stand before the Lord, I want to say, oh, there her name is. It's written in the blood. Yes, 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 in the name of Jesus. That when he called my name, I will be in that number. Hallelujah. I want you to know, who shall you serve? You must understand, people of God. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it. Don't get it twisted. Because a lot of people say, well, I'm going to church. But it's the church in you. Hey, hey, God. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. You know, then you act like you're doing God a favor because you show up. Lord, you show up. Amen. Well, I know I'm on some toes. I miss a quantum. In the name of Jesus. Like you're doing the Lord a favor because you showed up. My God. Hey, you're not doing God no favor. He said, I know what time you were going to be here, and I knew when you weren't going to be here. Yeah, yeah, he said, God, yeah. get us there. Well, you're the church when you're not in the physical church. Hey, oh, that's the question. Yes, Lord. When you're in your home, are you in the church? Amen. When you're in the grocery Amen. store, are you in the church? Amen. When you're in the library and they tell you, shh, you're like, hey. That you're shouting down. Are you there? That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Who will you serve? Amen. You must make a day. You must be answer. You must answer that question before you leave today. And your spirit. Who shall you serve? Because you know what? The devil's walking around, looking around for who we may devour. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking that, well, I got it all together. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Lord. I don't know about you, but he's testing. Come Even on, the God. righteous are having some problems. Come on, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even those that the very elect. I've been walking uh, with the Lord for so long, I'm seasoned. My he said, that's the one I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming for those that, that got some extra aroma. They've been praying long. Yeah. Let's tap on. Let's knock on their door. Let's see. Let's Ooh. see how seasoned they are. All, All right, then. All right, now. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Nobody's exempt. Because yeah. you're thinking, well, the babes are gone. No, no, no. With the Lord, God said, he said, the enemy is tampering with the very elect. That's those right. who know the scripture. Come on, Lord. Those that know. Come those on. that know the word of the Lord God. He said, Lord, I'm watching them. I want to see what they're going to do. I want to know whom will they serve. Hey, are you going to serve Baal or are you going to serve God? Come on, what, you gonna what you going to do? What you going to do? Yes, what you going to do? Yes, what you going to do? Whom shall yeah. you serve? Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. shall yeah. you serve? Oh, you're sitting up there and the Lord God says, I gave you a I word. He said, my word shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish what I sent it forth to do. He said, if I spoke that word to you, you should God. hide it in your heart. Yeah, and God. I don't care how long it tarries. The Lord God said, who shall you serve? Tell your neighbor, whom shall you serve? Whom shall you serve? Touch your neighbor on the other side. Whom shall you serve? Whom shall you serve? Whom shall you serve? Whom shall you serve? Thank you, Lord God. I got to understand that there's whom shall you serve? I got God. Because, see, when you decide to serve the Lord, you begin to cancel out disobedience. Come on, Dad. When you begin to serve the Lord. Oh, yeah, we're stepping on some toes. When you make a choice to serve Christ, your choice sends out a cancellation notice to some things. When you said, I choose Christ, they're going to cancel it. Cancellation debt. Come on, Lord. Cancellation doubt. Cancellation fear. Cancellation depression. Cancellation. The moment you say choice, all of a sudden I choose Christ. Cancellation notice. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. I want you to know. Which one is she going to do? Yeah, but the Lord God is saying that operating the things that I've already told you. Hey, the Lord God said, I've given you a track record of promises. Yes. What's the matter with you? Oh. Hey, I'm, gonna come oh. I'm talking to the very elect. I'm talking to you. Because you're like, Lord God, I haven't seen you move lately. But you remember I didn't move. Yes. Yes. Come on, Lord. Yes. 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 But you got to hold yeah. on. Yeah. 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 You got to hold on. Because, yeah, because yeah, things that happen just yeah, you remember how I brought you out that nest last time? Yes. 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 So remember that, nurse. remember that. Yes. But you see, you made a choice. Amen. Look, I said, remember what you did last time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You turned your plate over. Yeah, you stop taking so calls. I ain't, I'm not talking today. Hey. You're like, wait a minute, I'm not talking today. Ooh. What's wrong with you? I'm not talking today. My God. I love you, but if you check with your daddy like I'm checking with, you're going to understand why I'm not talking. 
Come on now. You must understand. I'm making a choices in 20. And see, your choices in 2019, not everybody going to like them. Come on, Lord. All right. Some of the choices. See, you have to be between here and there. Yes. And you see, the Lord God says, you know, the narrow way. <laughs> there's a broad way and there's a narrow way. Yes, Lord. And the narrow way, many don't find it. Yeah, Lord. And most people go the broad way. Oh, no, go, hey, everybody going that way. Yes, you know, yeah, but the Lord God said it's the narrow way. way. God. It's the way that nobody want to pass. It's that way that's tight. Yes, hey, God. You know, yes. I can see the narrow road. If you can see that thing in the sky, because see, God's road, it's not It's not all broad and wide. Oh, it's narrow. Come on, yeah. man. And look, when you're looking like that, and you're you look at my son's in there. Yeah. <laughs> my Lord. You can see it like that in the spirit. It's you say, me, God, that thing by that short. That's right. By that small. Tight. And you want me to go through it. He said, that's why. And then the Holy Spirit with a little light. I'm over here. Ah, yes, Lord. I'm over here. And you're looking, you're beginning to look at your circumstances like we do. I'm using that thing in the natural, but yeah. you need to see that thing in the spirit. Uh -huh. You begin to look at your situation. Me, God. Yeah, look at me you. with all that I got. Mm, all that I got to pass through to get to you. And you want me to go over and you said it. He said it, wave and come to me. All you who are there with. All the family. Come, come to me. And he's still pouring and putting the light. And sure that when you begin, I want you to know that's a choice you You got to begin to take that step. And get in, because what you don't know. And see what the enemy would love for you to believe that you're not going to fit. <laughs> but see, the Lord God, he's so great that everybody got a perfect fit. Wow. He said, whenever you start moving, it begin to tailor made. You're like, hey. All of a sudden, I can. All of a sudden, I got enough room. The more I keep moving, the more room. Wow. The Lord God says, come as you are. Yes. Come on, Dad. I like my dad. He said, come. He said, come and he said, do you realize every time you squeeze through, it's a perfect fit, but some things just fall off. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you. And the person began to just drop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fear begins to go. Cancellation notice. My God. When you choose Christ, cancellation goes out to disobedience. Mm. All right, Lord. Cancellation yeah. notice goes out to doubt. Yes. Goes out to lies. Goes out to fear. Yes. Goes Lord. out to yeah, putting your trust in people. That that, that cancel. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. That word was powerful. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But I trust in, in the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whenever I make my choice for Christ. The cancellation go notices goes out, and they understand that I will listen to no other voice but my daddy's voice. Yeah. Hallelujah! I choose him. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus. Oh, people of God, you must understand that as children of God, we have got to make choices. Amen. That I ask you, whom shall you serve? That's that right. you gotta make a choice in this year. Who will you serve this day? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Turn with me to Deuteronomy. I feel led to go there. Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter number thirty. Thank you, Lord God. There is a word that's there in the name of the Old Testament. I love to walk in the word. I love it. I love it. Deuteronomy chapter number 30. Hallelujah. Let's walk in it. Go. If you don't know, go to Genesis and walk in. Thank you, Lord God. Go all the way to Genesis and walk in. Deuteronomy chapter number 30. Thank you, Lord God. The word of the Lord God is trying to tell us something here. That he wants you to know who will you serve. And I said, Lord, my, my Bible entitles it. I'm going right up 30. Uh, the, the reading starts at 11, but I want you to focus on verse number 14. Amen? Amen. 30, 14. Look what the Lord says here. But the word is very near to you in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Did we did not say whatsoever you say? Yeah. Yeah. Did we not just get that word? Yeah. But the word is very near mm -hmm. to you 
in your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. He said, see, I've set before you today life and good and death and evil. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got to pause right there. Isn't it amazing? Look how the Lord God connect those things. He said, I've set before you life and good, death and evil. Life resides with good and death resides with evil. Thank you, Lord God. He said, but I want you to see that the Lord God is trying to tell you that whenever you make a choice, that he's asking you to chew and start saying it with your mouth. It is near to you. That means you can start saying that I'm the head and not the tail. Come that I'm dear. above and not beneath. It's near to your mouth. See, some of us, we get right there with our deliverance and we say nothing. My Lord. The Lord God said that you're right there on the edge of a breakthrough, but you won't say, thank you, Daddy, for giving me my breakthrough. Come thank on. you, Lord God, for my deliverance. Start naming it. Start speaking it out in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you broke that spirit of addiction off of my family. Lord, I thank you for that. You got to open up your mouth. The Bible said it's near to your mouth. Amen. Life and death. The Lord God said, you can speak life or death. It's in the power of the tongue. Yes. It's in the power of the tongue. Yes, Lord. But if you make a choice, you make a decision. I'm going to choose life today. I'm going to choose good things. I'm going to choose what's good today. The 2019, I'm going to start choosing life. And life. Thank you, Lord. God. I'm going to start speaking the things that are edifying the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop giving the devil some glory. I'm going to stop giving him glory. Because yeah. every time you start complaining, oh, Lord, you know what? The enemy just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? It's nothing wrong to say that, Lord God, I'm hurting. But you know, you turn around and say, but by his stripes, I know I'm healed. Yes, Lord. Lord. Stop giving the enemy glory. The Lord God don't want you to lie. Now, let me, let me make it plain. Because somebody was like, well, I said, no, you know what? It's called relationship. Mm -hmm. yes. When you're in relationship with a person, wouldn't you rather them to tell you the truth? Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, if I'm a relationship, don't lie to me now. The Lord God's saying the same thing. We're in the house of the Lord. Amen. And not cancel those. That, that's, that's dogmatic preaching and teaching. Oh, you're not supposed to say if I'm in relationship with the Lord, I can say whatever I need to say to my daddy because we're in relationship. I'm not being disrespectful, but if I'm hurting, Lord, I'm hurting. Yes. Yeah. That, that he's not going to beat me. Yeah. No. If I'm saying, but you know, but they have some pre-do, shouldn't say that. Wait a minute. If I'm hurting, I am hurting. But I'm in relationship. I can say, Lord, I'm hurting, but I know that you are able to heal. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 You see the difference in the conversation. Yes. I'm having some pain in my body, Lord. Yes. But I know that you will deliver me. Yes. 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 But for you to sit there, oh no, you're bent over. You're in pain. No. Wait a minute. You're lying. You're in a relationship in your mind. If you see that thing in a natural, I wouldn't want anybody to lie to me like that. Amen. If you're hurting in the area, tell me. Amen. Your father knows what you have needed before you ask. On, you're like, Lord God, I, I can't afford that, Lord. Yes. I, I'm right there. And you're, you're up there. Oh, no, I got it. Lord, the truth is I can't afford it now. Amen. But, Lord God, if you would bless me with it, yeah. Lord God, I know that you're able. I know that you're El Shaddai. Yeah. Yeah. You just supply all of my needs. Yeah. You're the God Amen. of more than enough. Yeah. Now, see, when you start doing that, the Lord God said, that's my order. Yeah. Yeah. That's a relationship. He's talking truth to me. And the Lord God says, truth will set you what? Free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I wanted you to see that because you can start speaking some things over yourself. When you speak good, you can speak life. Amen. And when you speak anything that's speaking death, that's evil. That's not Amen. a thought. Whenever you start talking about, well, I don't know if I'm going to make it. You know, it's darkness. Well, you're speaking those things over yourself. You're, you're decreeing and declaring def defeat before you even get started. My God. My God. The Lord God said to stop doing that. You know, you haven't even started. I already told you you're trying to play catch up. So you're trying to play catch up already, and you're already like, Lord God, I don't know. what well, you, You're never going to make it to the place in God that you need to get to. I don't know about you, but Lord God, I'm running for him. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm chasing. That's all I'm chasing out there. Yes, I'm full black. You better get out of my way. You better eat my dust because you are not going to stop me. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus, I'm going to be running for the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the only thing you're going to see them little sports. That's, That's it. Yeah. You're like, where's she going on a plane again? Yeah. Where's she at? Catch it again. Where are you? Because I'm on the Powerful. Like where she? She's at the another another house. How many hospitals she gonna go? Oh, tell the Lord, tell me, stop. That's right. All right, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, we gotta make choice. I ask your neighbor, whom shall you serve? Whom shall you serve? Ask your neighbor on the other side, whom shall you serve? Whom shall you serve? Hallelujah. Because I want you to know, people of God, if you're choosing the Lord, I want you to know that you've got to choose Him. He's got to be the choice that you've got to make. Amen. You've got to begin to say that I'm desire to serve the Lord. Amen. You know, it's more than just, I'm telling you, it's more than just sitting in a church house. Amen. It's more than just sitting there and thinking that you've got everything together. It's a consciousness. You've got to constantly say it. I don't know about you, but you got to constantly remind yourself. The Bible says you got to remind yourself. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. This Christian walk, we walk it out with fear and trembling. Amen. Amen. Because I'm careful how I walk.